Welcome to another episode of the Art Patient. In this episode I'm going to be talking about the experiment with mistletoe and giving you an update. Thank you for joining me on this cold winter's day. Guys, you won't believe how long this video has took to make. Oh my god. Uh, one thing or another, dogs barking in the gardens. And anyway, this is the update. New subscribers, thank you very much. This is the place to be for alternative ideas for health uh, that won't cost a fortune. Um, it's probably, you could call it a non drug channel. I'm not going to go bashing drugs in this one, but I am going to compare uh, nature to um, drugs. Okay, this can replace, the idea of getting mistletoe guys was, um, a lot of you probably know, you, you probably won't believe you can use mistletoe twigs. Mistletoe is like a parasite bush that grows on other trees. Depending on what tree it grows around, mistletoe, the attributes of it and the polyphenols and the flavonoids within it, the medicine within it guys, depends on the tree it grows around. Okay? So you're always going to get a slightly different spectrum. But uh, the name of mistletoe is Viscum album. Well, it's actually one of the most, um, the compounds within it is a uh, viscotoxin. Now it's viscotoxin that gives it, it its cardiac properties. And I'm going to use this, in, I, I'm going to I'm going to use this instead of a beta blocker. Now a lot of you people out there are probably on Bisoprol or beta blockers of one type or another. If you are on beta blockers, you will suffer side effects because I suffered side effects and uh, all drugs have side effects and I wanted to get away from all that, as you know. So, uh, the viscotoxin in this product is able to alter the atrial, uh, uh, the atrial node. It's the, uh, it's the um, atrial node it sends out the pulses across the um, atrium and ventricles of the heart and alters the firing order. The sinoatrial node does that. Now it's the viscotoxin in this mistletoe that alters the sinoatrial node firing order. And I'm going to let you uh, know, um, I've already had, guys I've already had a a rising blood pressure which the people who talk about this says you will get an initial rise and then you'll get a lowering and then I had the initial rise and then I've had the lowering so I've already noticed on some of the bike rides that the lowering uh, is by three or four points I've had a lowering of blood pressure by three or four points while out on the bike riding, uh, which is good. Um, now mistletoe can be used, and I'm using it now with Orthorn and Motherwort, so it can be used with Orthorn and Motherwort. It's also a nerve on, so it affects the central nervous system. Now it's thought that this is how it works through the vagus nerve and the vagus nerve alters the sinoatrial node and the firing order of the heart. So, so it's a nerve line. So if you like, um, if you birds, if you uh, get fired up easy or you're on antidepressants um, or you suffer with your nerves it could be a great medicine for you if you team it up with St John's Wort it could be really beneficial to you now I haven't done that experiment but it is said the two are really effective together um, it was used some years ago in studies to get people off uh, benzo addiction and um, quite successfully in fact uh, ben 
benzodiazepam, they call them nicknamed benzos, you know, people addicted to uh, antidepressants. It is an antidepressant, guys, as well. It's also uh, got a great reputation for killing cancer cells and being really helpful for people on chemotherapy if you're silly enough to take chemotherapy, guys. In my eyes, you're ridiculous if you do. There's a vast range of products in nature that will all kill cancerous cells. Now, this works like many other uh, herbs I've tried, um, and it, it increases interferon levels, so um, has a massive effect on the white blood cells and the reproduction of white blood cells. As you know, when you have cancer, they give you chemo, outdated chemo drugs, slash and burn, we call it. Uh, they give you outdated chemo drugs, trying to poison something within you. Poisons don't belong in you guys, that's what actually gives you. An accumulation of heavy metals and poisons gives you cancer. You can't poison somebody and get rid of cancer. What this does, as well as the other, the other herbs, a lot of them, like um, Hoshibu, Foti, um, Astralagus, many, many more can eradicate cancerous cells by boosting interferon and boosting white blood cell production. I was going to say that the cancer drugs eventually give you leukemia because they destroy all the white blood cells and where they're made. Um, I, re I was on a study just last night from Austria and they're using it in a private clinic alongside chemo and radiotherapy so if you're going through that you might want to try mistletoe and you might want to just go and try it instead of asking people because mate nobody ain't going to recommend this stuff they make too much money out of poisoning everybody don't they um, the results at the minute are looking promising um, like I say I'm using it with Orphorn I'm using it with Motherwort those are my art drugs I use anyway my tinctures um, the beauty of tinctures, they all mix together, you can mix them guys, there's no problem, be careful who you're listening to, this channel is about doing this, experimenting and then you know for a fact that I do it, you know, I'm suffering no side effects like, you know, uh, you make your own mind up then don't you, the people who make these tinctures guys, the people who make them, whether it be Baldwin's, uh, this is the Baldwin's product I had just the other week, whether it be Baldwin's, whether it be Indigo Herbs, whether it be Yisha. All these people are um, stopped from, okay, they are, they can't make claims for their own products. Now I think that's disgusting. The beauty of this channel is I can make claims for anybody's products because I'm not affiliated to them, because I'm not selling the product, I can make claims for the product. If you're selling a product, they've, uh, the pharmaceutical cartel have made it, and they've introduced laws where you can't claim anything. You can't even make claims for your own product. It's, it's, it's ridiculous it is, guys. But I can make those claims because I'm not selling any products so the minute I start selling products I can't make those claims you know they tie up all the competition pharmaceutical cartels tie up everything um, so you'll hear people who make tinctures and people who use herbs say oh it's used in conjunct with and just being nice I don't guys I don't have to be nice to a pharmaceutical cartel for God's sake how much money they want to make by poisoning people with that said the experiment is going well I've already noticed I've been wired up when I've been cycling best way uh, radical oxygen therapy like I've spoken about many times um, if you are an art patient you should have two wheels it should be on prescription uh, never mind drugs so I just wanted to tell you guys that the experiment is going rather well and it is proven 
uh, it's proving to be uh, a fact that it does lower blood pressure it does chill you out it's a nervine it does have cardiotonic abilities and um, it's altering the uh, sinoatrial node firing order of the heart.